database and if you know XML is a file that contains data in a certain format. The good thing is that as a C Sharp developer or as an ASP.NET Core developer, you do not need to know the format in which XML is storing its data. All you need to know is C Sharp XML Serializer class. This is an XML, uh, XML Serializer built-in class. This class allows you to store an entire object. Let us say I have a certain model and model called let us say product and I have an object P which is fully filled object. Then I can store this entire object into an XML file by using the serialize method by using the serialize method on this XML serializer class. I do not need to worry how it is stored because the entire plumbing the entire work is done by C sharp and the serialize method it will take your object into a file and when you want to get your object back you need to call the deserialize method and your object will be back with you in the same way in which you sent it to the file now these serialize deserialize method details i'll talk in a moment where i will show you a completed project so that you can have a look at it but in the meantime let me tell you what the project is going to be. I will be having a text box and a submit button. We will type something and click this submit. This data will go to the server side and on the server side this data will be flushed, will be stored, will be serialized, will be serialized into an XML file. But XML file is a file in the root directory so we will need to use iWeb host environment like we talked in the previous tutorial we will need to use iWeb host environment to obtain the path to our XML file so this is the tricky part and uh, let us now have a look at the project so that we begin to understand how things work this is a simple project that I have created with uh, some name pages folder only one page is there let me uh, show you how it runs first so that you can have a feel of it when the project runs the first time a box is shown a name field is shown and a submit button and I scribble anything click on submit the data is saved as XML and it has been shown back also so you will see how it comes out but let us run it the second time to verify that uh, persistence is taking place see that your data is back to you when you run the next time so where is this stored there is a folder DB folder that was created just now because we have programmed it in such a way so that if the folder doesn't exist it gets created and this is your myfile.xml and in certain format here your name property is stored my data is your model class as I will show you in a moment this entire plumbing has been done by C sharp but here is something that we want to discuss that your entire C sharp model it goes into this file so let us have a look at it how it is actually happening I will first of all uh, open the backing class ok in the backing class in the backing class these are my namespaces and this is my backing class index model for the index razor page and here is a read only string m path this, this will store the path to our xml file and how is this path retrieved for that so how is this path retrieved in the constructor of index model we get iweb host environment because of dependency injection provided by asp.net core and mpath is written as path.combine this gives you a path to the root directory and then a db folder the name of a folder if not directory exists we create the directory so this is the code that will create the directory and mpath is equal to path.combine and finally we put this mpath as a path to our xml file 
because this is what we will be ultimately interested. Now the good thing about XML serializer is that if the XML file doesn't exist then that file is created for you. So we do not need to really bother about the format of the XML file. It will automatically be created if a file doesn't exist and it will be created in just the right format. So let us see what next we have. In the next we have used a bind property so that the data goes to the form and then this form is available to us when it is posted. So bind property this is my data my data is our model and get set as usual on get let me show you my data first so that we can have a look at it what this my data is we have created my data in the same in the same file just because i wanted things the things to be simple